ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Blender Brady, and I am back with another video. I am super excited, y'all. Thank you for whoever's new to my channel. Welcome. We are almost at 5K. Ah, so exciting. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this hair that I got from Love Me Hair. Um, this is what the wig looks like on their site. You guys, I am completely in love, okay? This hair is 100% glueless. Well, this wig is 100% glueless. It's soft, okay? It's full. Like, the lace looks great. Like, oh my gosh. Like, code BLEND20 for money off of your purchase. She follow me on social media at BLENDEDBYD. Thank you for watching my channel. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to come watch my channel. And make sure you guys tune into the next video. All right, ladies, we're hopping right into this video. Y'all know that feeling when a new wig come in. So for construction, this wig came with an adjustable band, three combs, two on the side, one in the back, and two adjustable straps. This is what the hair looks like straight out of the box, right out of the net. Super pretty, super bouncy, very full, and it was already pre-curled, like, yes. Now I'm just going to take my Black Radiance Cream Palette and tint my lace. So I went ahead and did my ball cap off camera. Um, if you need a video on how to do that, I will link it above. So now here's me placing the wig on, um, just placing it where I want it to go. And it is super cute, y'all. Like right out the box, like, oh my God. <laughs> Now I'm just combing out some of the curls and then I'm going to be cutting the lace off. When cutting my lace, I usually start and make a slit in the middle and then I just make zigzag motions from one side to another. For my ladies who want a little bit more hold, you can use some spritz right at the top and that'll just hold down that lace a little bit more. Now I'm just going to be taking some foamy mousse and placing that where I would like to style the hair or make it go in a certain way. I kind of wanted this front part to go up a little bit so that's what you'll see me doing i also learned that taking your comb and holding it in the position you want the hair to mold will definitely help it a lot better Okay, ladies, this part is totally optional, but now I'm just going to go in with my tweezers and just kind of um, define the part a little bit more. Now, the reason why I said that last step was optional because this step would definitely replace that last step if you want to if you're not all that good at tweezing you can literally just go in with your cream foundation the same one we put underneath the lace and literally run that on the top that'll definitely give that scalp effect Here you'll see me taking some straightening serum and I'm just going to be putting that all over the hair because I'm about to just add a little bit more curl to the curls where I had finger combed out, combed out or whatever, just to give it a little bit more bounce. Line, 
So unfortunately, my hot comb broke. So I have to take my curling iron and flat out the top of my hair. I mean, not my flat iron, my curling iron and flatten the top of my hair. This also works just as well, ladies, okay? Just as well. Um, but I will be getting another hot comb. <laughs> Now I'm just going to curly hair. Alrighty, I'll see y'all next video.